Welcome back to tutorial series. We have been learning on methods to solve linear second order differential equations. We learned various methods like variation of parameters method, undetermined coefficients method and so on because we classify the equation to be homogeneous and non-homogeneous. Today, let's learn Cauchy-Euler's differential equations. These equations are of the form a1x square second order differentiation of y with respect to x plus a2x first order differentiation of y with respect to x plus a3y which is equal to q of x. If we take y common as we did there, but if you observe here, we have x squared, a variable as a coefficient too, but we had only constants as coefficients in those equations. That's the difference here and, it ha and hence it has a different approach to find a solution. So first, we substitute e to the power of z in the place of x, so z is equal to log x. So we observe that x squared d squared can be written as d1 into d1 minus 1 and x d can be written as d1 where we know the d is d by dx and d1 is d by dz which is a new variable which, ha which we have introduced. Now on substituting the equation becomes a1 d1 squared plus a2 minus a1 into d1 plus a3y which is equal to q of z. Similarly, if it's a third order differential equation, x cubed d cubed can be written as d1 into d1 minus 1 into d1 minus 2. Let's learn an example. Here's a question. x square y double dash minus x y dash plus y which is equal to 0. Then on applying d which is d by dx, x square d square y minus x d by dy plus y which is equal to 0. Which is we obtain this and this is cauchy euler's form. So we substitute e to the power of z in the place of x and this becomes z is equal to log x. Now x squared d squared is which is equal to d1 into d1 minus 1 which is d1 squared minus d1 and x is equal to d1 as we saw in the beginning. When we substitute all these that we obtain this form. So similar substitution when applied to this question we obtain d1 square minus 2 d1 plus 1 into y which is equal to 0. Now the auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 2m plus 1 which is equal to 0 which can be written as m minus 1 the whole square. So the roots are 1 and 1 which are real and equal. So as we have seen till now for such roots the complementary function is c1 plus c2z into e to the power of z form. Now, when we, sub when we substitute the values of x in the place of z again, it becomes c1 plus c2 log x into x, which is the solution of the given differential equation. Let's learn another example. Here you'll be able to observe that this is a non-homogeneous equation. So similarly, we first substitute d squared and then apply d1 which is d by dz because x is equal to e to the power of z. On substituting, we obtain m squared minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0 as the auxiliary equation. Now again, you observe that the roots are 1 and 1 which are real and equal. So the complementary function is c1 plus c to z into e to the power of z. Now let's apply undetermined coefficients method to find the particular integral. So yp is equal to az plus b and now yp dash will become a. yp double dash will become 0. We have applied az plus b because the right hand side is 2z which is linear. We obtain this because the value of log x is z. From question, it becomes, log x becomes z. So we apply az plus b as a trial solution. Now on substituting it in the first equation, we obtain this form that is az plus b minus 2 is equal to 2z. This is not exactly first equation, the second equation because we have taken the conversion so then on solving, we obtain that a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 4. Now we have obtained the values in the trial solution which becomes a particular integral. We know that the solution is the sum of complementary function and particular integral. So on adding, we obtain this form as a solution. As we have to substitute x in the place of z again, that is 
log x in the place of z again, we obtain c1 plus c2 log x into x plus 2 log x plus 4 as a final solution of the given differential equation. Here's another example. Solve x squared d squared minus x d plus 2 into y which is equal to x log x. Follow the same format for all the questions by substituting e to the power of z in the place of x and z is equal to log x. Now d1 square minus 2 into d1 plus 2 into y which is equal to z e to the power of z. Now the Oxnard equation becomes m squared minus 2m plus 2 which is equal to 0. On solving, we obtain 1 plus or minus i as the roots. This, is, this means that the roots are imaginary. So based on the format, we get e to the power of z into c1 cos z plus c2 sin z as a complementary function. Again, we apply trial solutions that is undetermined coefficients method to find particular integral. Since we con on conversion to z, x log x becomes z e to the power of z. So our trial solution will be a z plus b into e to the power of z. So on differentiating it, it is a e to the power of z plus a z plus b e to the power of z. On double differentiating it, we get this equation. On substituting all these into, we obtain these formats from where we obtain a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0. Now we have obtained the values of a and b in the trial solution. So we have found the particular integral which is z e to the power of z. Now the sum of complementary function particular integral is this equation. Now it is necessary for us to substitute log x in the place of z. On substituting, this becomes a solution for the required differential equation. Here are a few practice problems for you. To practice all these, to get a hold on the concept, you have to follow the same form.